My blank journals, take three. Oops. Well, I, as you can tell, it's third try. But on the second try, my battery died. So, we have a travel journal that has the travel itinerary pages. And for each section, it also has pockets to put things in. So you can put your boarding pass and passport in here if you take it along with you. Phone numbers for friends wherever you are. Or business contacts even. Picture log. Shopping. Sightseeing. Um, that was food. Restaurants, cafes. Expenses. A journal. And the conversion charts. And yes, that is... My collection are right there. Apparently, I end up finding ones I like faster than I write through them. Um, this isn't a journal so much, but it's a pretty pad that my uncle gave to me one year for, I think it was like my birthday, or the holidays. This is... A journal my friend Susan from Canada gave me. Um, she's from Halifax. And when I went to Toronto, Mom went with me and she gave me this. This is another journal. This I got out of Starbucks. And that was the only time I've ever seen a note, anything notebook or anything there. And this is a pretty little one that I got at a dollar store. That's good for like a weekend trip. And this, I don't remember where I got this, but I love that it changes. And then and you flip it the other way, and it wags its tail. It moves its eyes. This has me a bit befuddled. Is it a blueberry? Or is it like a cantaloupe or something? Or is it has Nine pages. A little Michi notebook that comes with stickers. This is just a black journal. I think I got this in Canada too, actually. Canada's good. They have good stuff. Or I should say they make good stuff. A cute little kitty. What love of... Oh, sorry. What love of a cat. And it just has cute little kitties all over it, and then some writing. I have no idea what it says. A cat with a squirrel. I have no idea what kind of squirrel that is. I guess that's supposed to be the kind of squirrels, the red squirrels from California. And this, these two as well are from my friend Susan from Halifax. They're like, you know, they're like little uh, composition books, I guess, their version. These, I don't remember if I got them in a store called Morning Glory or if I <laughs> bought them in Canada. <laughs> but this one's nice. You can put what the topic is on it. And it looks good for presentations, too, I guess you could say. It has spot for title, number, and all that. This is just a big planner I have. I know, I know I've had it at least since high school, maybe junior high or earlier. One of the few new cartoons I actually like. This is from um, Fairly Odd Parents. And I love the. I got it because I love <laughs> that line. <laughs> this is. A, I guess you could say official journal or diary with the lock on it. This is another little journal, like the one that I showed you that I put my quote, favorite quotes in. This one is from my friend Helen in England. Um, oh, hey, look it. It's Damon Salvatore. Uh, um, she's from Hull, I believe. And cute little kitty mini journal as well. I like these ones that look like old antique-ish kind of things and it has a cute little 
being at the bottom of the kitty, drinking out of a cup. Another nice um, memo book, memo pad I should say, is a flip flop someone gave me. And this is a memo pad, a purse pad for um, Helen and Hull England as well, and it comes with a mirror. This is a blank that you can use for drawing as well. This, I got this from Hastings on Hudson in New York, and I got it because it looked like it was handcrafted with like little mirror things here, and um, that plus it was purple and green. <laughs> I got a little sticker in there, a couple purple things, and a little scorpion. Because I'm a scorpion. And um, just like a really long winded something or other that I'm writing. I only got a cube type one that I got in Albany Rite Aid. A cute little teddy bear that I've had forever. It's like I don't want to use it because it's so cute or something. <laughs> I don't want to destroy it with my writing. Two of the same that I got at a discount store. This has that like cotton feeling paper. This I like. Somebody gave me this. I thought it was cute. It looks like the yellow pages and it's got yellow. Um, these, and there's two more coming that I got at a dollar store. I thought these were nice and pretty. The French design. And then these ones are more for my wacky side, I guess you could say. For blue and green, and then the pinks and the blue. I think they should have made the swirls in blue as well. This is just a, I don't know what you want to call it. It's a picture journal, I guess. You can draw it too. You put the picture there. And then you just write what it's about. So I guess it's good for somebody who's a photographer. Ooh, my voice just cracked. And this I think I previously already showed. This is just has the design on the pages. This one I like because it's a dragon. I love dragons. And it's red pages. And it has all the Chinese zodiac animals in it. And at the bottom it's bordered with the Chinese zodiac. On the back. <clears throat> These two I got from my friend Donna in Wisconsin. It's a golf vampire composition book. And then uh, you won't like me when I'm hungry. These are just back to Maru and Kirupi. Like composition books I guess you could say. I guess you could just use it as a travel book. Yes, I just purposely dropped that. Some Hello Kitty. And these pages are pretty cute, so... But I have no idea what to use it for. I'm thinking maybe I should give a couple of them to my cousins, or sell them. <laughs> this one's cute. I like the Hello Kitty with the camera. I mean, they have some crazy pages in them, though. You could do, like, a top ten countdown in this one, which is cool. And this has more of the lines. This is another dragon journal. I don't even remember where I got this from. A guitar composition book. What's inside it? Do something. Save music education. And frankly, of the people I know that actually, oops, sorry, that are actual musicians, they are quite, quite, quite smart. I have a problem with that. 
why destroy books to recycle them into a notebook? There are some people who really like those other books. Especially if they were really old. This is just my fire planner. That's my thing. Fire and purple and green. This matches the friendship book. A set of... Oops. I'm sorry. I hope... A set of journals. And somebody has sent me a card and I just thought it matched so I put it in with it. Happy Bunny! Which I just love and actually I should write letters to mom in this because just... She nags so much. But I guess that's what moms are supposed to do, right? A writer's companion, story ideas, setting sources, publications, to do and to read sections, and a spot where you can put little odds and ends. Uh, this is supposed to be a journal that's made of hemp and. Nepal. I only knew that from the because I found it on um, BarnesandNoble.com when I bought this at like a tag sale or something. And this is my cute little kitten. It's a long journal. I don't see a much, but anyway, all good. I think that's all.